What's up, YouTube? Jeff Bannock here. In today's video, we're going to be going over how to use Coinbase Commerce to be able to take crypto payments. It literally takes you five minutes to set up, super easy to do, and then you can decide what type of crypto you want to take. Be it, do you want to take Ethereum? You decide. In this video, I'm going to show you how to do it. It's super easy and only take a couple seconds. See you inside today's video. What's up, everybody? Jeff Bannock here. So in today's video, we're going to go over how to set up your Coinbase commerce account so that you can take crypto payments through Coinbase. Now, there is a link down below. If you use that, you do get $10 in crypto. It's an affiliate link through Coinbase. So go ahead and sign up with that using it for uh, using my code for account um, if you haven't already signed up. Thanks so much for that. And let's get into the video. So super easy to set up. When you come in, you log in, you're going to connect it to your, uh, your Coinbase account. You go to the link down below to be able to connect the two. Super easy to do. I'm not going to go into how to set up a Coinbase. That's super easy. You connect your bank, all that type of stuff. Once that's done, you're going to connect the two accounts. You're going to log in. It's going to look just like this. So you got, first of all, you have your balances. So you can see here if any of these coins, these are all the coins that you're able to take right now through Coinbase. And you can either turn these on or off in your settings, deciding which one you want to use. And then depending on your payments, you'll see the total amount will be here and then you can withdraw it through the right column right here once you've been paid. So then what you can do is you come over here to payments um, and then you'll look, you'll see if any payments are made and then you've got checkouts and invoices. Invoices is if you wanna send an invoice to a person like they owe you money. Checkout's what we're gonna really work on today because that allows you to set up an actual page where people can go choose different products and then pay that price that you've set in dollars in actual um, cryptocurrency. So let's go to checkouts here. At the top right, you're gonna see this create a checkout. You're then gonna click this button. You're gonna come in here. Let's say this is for, um, let's say, let's say, see this is for, Jeff's uh, coaching program. Okay, one on one, one on one. All right, product description, one on one coaching. And then you can get a whole, um, you can put your image in here. Let's go to, let's go to me real quick. Me, we'll just put a picture real quick in there. Um, and then what kind of pricing do you want to offer? You have fixed price or you can let the cho visitors choose. Uh, the visitors choose option is something that's coming more and more prevalent with, with uh, letting people sort of pick their price, especially with stuff that's like donations and stuff like that. That's the one you want to go. Um, normally, if you run a business, you're probably going to want to go with a fixed price. You're going to click that there. You're then going to set the item or the cost. So for uh, 12 sessions with me, it's 500 a session. We give you a discount, it's only 5K instead of 6K. You set this, you can actually choose any type of currency that it's gonna be displayed in, but then when they go to the checkout page, it will be they'll be able to pay their um, the dollar amount or whatever currency amount in actual crypto. So you can actually ask for a uh, name and email. This is optional. Some people are against KYC, so you might wanna leave this out. It's totally up to you. You're then going to hit create checkout. At that point, you're going to have this. You're, you'll have either a link that you can go to, or you can actually go and embed this somewhere. You'll see right here is embed code. So if you want to embed this into um, like a, a, a funnel or a website like ClickFunnels or Kajabi or anything like that, you can use this to embed. If not, you go right here. And then this is what your actual checkout page. Here's the picture that I put in just now. You'll see Jeff's coaching program, one-on-one, one-on-one coaching. And then you've got a, this is really cool because um, it's got a timer right here that creates a little bit of urgency. So I like that. It's like this time expires, change rates will be refreshed. So um, that also applies to whatever the price of Bitcoin or Ethereum. I set mine, so I only take Bitcoin or Ethereum. So you'd pick which one you wanted, and then you could see right here, you'd send the payment to this QR code right here. Super easy to do. Or you have your Bitcoin um, address, you can do that. You've also got the amount right here. You uh, just send it using a QR code. There, You can also pay with Coinbase. If I click right here, it'll connect me to my Coinbase account. So you don't necessarily have to click either one of these to pay with your wallet. You can pay directly with Coinbase as well. I just wanted to point that out, that these two are more with paying directly from a wallet, where this one will pay directly from uh, Coinbase itself. So you can go back, and then if we go back here, we'll look underneath settings. This is where you're going to be able to change. If you go right here to the top right, and you click on that and go to settings, 
this is where a lot of your information is going to come in. You've got your branding down here, your color, you've got your withdraws, whether you want it to go to Coinbase, Coinbase Pro, you then come into payments. This is pretty cool because you can set your threshold. So how far under the price you're willing to go before it rejects a payment. So therefore, um, you can see right here, like if it's $10, and you know, there's a dip in cryptocurrency. This is mainly for uh, cryptocurrency and stuff like that because of the fluctuations. You can set your actual um, thresholds for underpayment or overpayment. Right here is where you decide what type of crypto you want to take. You could take Bitcoin Cash, Dai, uh, Dogecoin, Ethereum Litecoin, or USD. Uh, coin. You are, are also known as USDC. I right now just wanted to take Ethereum and Bitcoin because these are the two that I use the most. So I figured I'd keep it in there. Um, then after that, you got your notifications and then any security. The other thing you can do with this, which is pretty cool, is you go over to the left, you can do this thing called a point of sale where you can actually make like a checkout, um, like, um, you know, point or a checkout page for someone so that if they wanted to um, go, it's almost like a register here, we'll do it right now. So you go to point of sale. The cool thing is, is it doesn't matter if you've seen this code or not, because the code will expire in 30 minutes or upon use. So all I'm going to do is copy this code here. Then I go to this, see, visit the point of sale app on any advice using the link below. So I copy this link and this is the link. And then I go to that. And then what it's going to do is ask for that code. See, here we go. There you go. This page is linked to this code. Again, the code will disappear in 30 minutes so, or as soon as I use it. So it's no good to anyone else. That's why I'm not afraid to show it. See, now we've got a actual checkout page where we've got a product. You can add a custom amount here. So if I go right here, you'll see, and then I can charge USD. See, that's like an actual checkout. So if you had multiple different products, they'd be listed right here along uh, the left-hand side. So you'd have them listed along, um, and then you just put them right here. So I click whatever product I want. I go charge the Etc. I confirm the checkout. You know, just like anything else, you're going to pick your currency. Uh, let's say Bitcoin, and then here's the awaiting payment. And then once you get paid, it says confirmed. So pretty cool. Um, I wanted to share this with you guys today. So there you go. That's how you set it up. Super easy to use. I highly recommend anyone that's moving into the Web3 crypto business space to start looking into this so they can start taking payments in crypto. If you believe in crypto, you should be taking payments in it. Plus, it's a good way to build up your crypto portfolio. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments what you thought about today's video. And in next video, I'm going to be talking about Mirror XYZ and all the amazing different things it can do. Check it out. I'll see you in the next video. Peace.